G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here, and in this video we are going to do a review of The Simpsons Lego House set number 71006. The set was originally released in 2014 and has 2,523 pieces. We managed to pick it up secondhand off eBay and currently in coronavirus lockdown. So it was a great build and way to pass time with the kids. Click around the video to see a video of the kids just purely playing with the set and the imagination that they were having with it. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. So here we have the set, and you can see it's quite a significant set. You've got the house, which has a real solid presence about it, and we'll get into it, and there's lots going on with that there, and it looks like what it's meant to. It looks like it's the Simpsons house. You, you wouldn't mistake that. Then you have all the minifigures that you have with it. You've got the core family, Maggie, Lisa, Bart. Marge, Homer, and then the lefty neighbor, Ned, and his little gas cooker there. You've then also got some other accessories for outdoor use. So you've got the, the mailbox with some mail, the skateboard ramp and a skateboard as well, a couple of lawn chairs, and a wheelbarrow with some flower pots with some flowers in them. So there's a lot there to actually get in and play with and have lots of play value. And of course, you've got the car. For mine, start off with the minifigs because there's some weird stuff going on here with these. And for the most part, yes, they look like what they're meant to. And you've got the characters. They've got their own unique heads so that they're shaped in the similar proportions as to the show. The thing for mine which makes them look a little bit strange is for Bart, Marge and Homer, you've got them with their eyes half closed. And from an art point of view, when you're drawing, anytime you have eyes half closed, particularly when you've got the, the pupils up near the eye, if they're overlapping, it actually gives you a feel of being drunk or bored. So certainly with kids' toys and everything like that, you want excitement, you want happiness. So to have these looking the way that they do, uh, particularly once you give Marge a drink and things like that, like you're starting to get into that aspect of the reference to the episode where she got um, addicted to wine and things like that and became a bit of an alcoholic. Lisa, I can kind of understand you've got a bit of a worried expression, but then again, you're playing with a character who's always got a worried expression. You know, Maggie, on the other hand, big wide open eyes, looks great. And then even Ned Flanders, he's got uh, through the glasses and that the eyes are really big and open. I think in later series they went through and actually made the eyes all the way open. So I don't know at the time if there was a lot of criticism of that, but it is a really bizarre choice and I don't really understand how that would have made it through because it just seems so basic. You want happy characters and playful and things of that nature, particularly when you've got you know, Lego and it's bright and it's colourful. You know, the American comics and things like that, you get all the grimaces and the angry faces, but this is not that. Having said that though, there's some references and nods to the show, like Ned with Hail to the Chef, and he's got a nice little barbecue and it opens up some sausages that he can be in there cooking away that's great and on the back you got the property of Ned Flanders which was an ongoing gag in the show where Homer was always borrowing and never returning everything and throughout the build here you've got many things which have property of Ned Flanders on it so just having a look at the car which you get to build again it's consistent with the show even to the point where it's got this nice little detail here of smashed up damage from where it's been previously pranged into something it is a little bit of an unusual build Compared to some of your other standard cars, you've got the big doors which are open there. You can actually fit front in the front seat two passengers and then in the back there's enough room to put some of the kids in there depending upon how you have their arms raised up. You also have a nice little feature here where the boot or the trunk of the car also opens and you put things in there. So great to see that you got the car with the set as well. You can always want for a bit more if they had the two cars there that may have worked out even better but then you've only got a single car garage a few of the other fun little accessories that you have with it is the skateboard ramp which you can you know have the character on there and away it goes that's a nice little funky build and then also to the mailbox which has its mail which can come in and out and you do have a little bit of flexibility for these red tags with that little gun piece in there as well to say that the mail has been delivered now having a look at the house itself, we'll just take a bit of a spin around the outside. Really like the way they've done these grass and the green bushes and the way that that integrates into the build. Just nice little attention to detail. On the outside too, you've got this nice chimney as well and then the way that that splits and the house opens up around the back. Little indent there, the door to get in and some windows and that. A little bit on the bland side but not too concerned about that. Again around here, just a few more of the little grass pieces on the reverse of the garage. 
and we come around a little further and you've even got an air conditioning unit there and once again one of those property of Ned Flanders stickers. So coming back around to the front you have the garage door which opens as you'd expect it would and it fits the car in there quite nicely so lots of play value with that coming in and out there. The details on the bay windows are also quite nicely done as well. I think the way that we'll have a look at this is we'll take off the roof pieces so we can get a clear view inside and then go from there. These roof pieces all slide off in a very similar way. And when you lift them up, you've generally always got on the bottom of them these white little pieces here so that when you put them, the wall just hangs and sits so they don't fall down any further. So there is the house without the roof on and you can start seeing in all the different rooms as they're all laid out together and it works quite nicely. You even have the details there where all the rooms feed off onto a corridor going down to the stairs so you can still have lots of play value with that. Then coming over to the garage you can see this you know, toolbox and tools, bits and pieces in there, some storage broom and a nice little space all done in there and of course you then even have the access way in through to the rest of the house. So if we just open up the house, we'll be able to see everything that's in there. It's got a hinge joint on the chimney. You give that a little bit of a pull and you've got the house opening up there. Let's see if we get that all in the shot. So you see the full house and it's just got a little hook clip there, which joins into the other side and that's how it is. So we start down the bottom, you have the lounge room with a piano there, of course these are splits, front doors, bit of a kitchen, table and chairs, the other part of the kitchen there, the door going out to the rear of the house, and then the other part of the lounge room with the chair and TV with the stairs going up to the upper levels, and then going up the stairs to the actual rooms. On the far side is Bart's room, which you can't see, and then Lisa's room, Maggie's room, which then has the parents on the other side, and then you have a toilet and a, another room there for Lisa's room. And there's one more aspect in that this part of the whole house also just opens up there, it slides over the top of the stairs. So we can see the half of that room and then if we spin it around, you can see there you've got the keep out sticker on Bart's room and then Bart's room itself, which we'll start having a look at. Uh, a desk for where he never does his homework, bookshelf, some paraphernalia there, Krusty the Clown poster and a bedside lamp and a bed and just there you can see on the stairs going down you got some pictures of Maggie and Abe Simpson. While we're upstairs we'll just continue along you've got Maggie's room there which is a nice little crib or cot that she can fit into. Another nicely made up bed there with a side table and a toilet which you can get into there and have a bit of a look maybe if we come over the top see some details. There's even a little sink on this side and a little tiny shower cubicle there for somebody to go in and have a bit of a clean. And then coming along to the next bedroom, another couple of bedside tables, lamp, coffee cup, and a bookshelf there with some other bits and pieces. And we'll come down the stairs into the classic Simpsons lounge room, which has the couch, always with the couch gag. So you can replicate that if you wanted to. The picture over the back, even a little old school telephone nice little rug on the floor and the TV there spin that around it's hooked in one place with some itchy and scratchy goodness happening there and play around with the TV aerials as well continuing on downstairs you come on through you have a kitchen there with some drawers and some other pots and pans further through to the table and chairs in there they're all just free standing and free floating so you can move those around into any configuration and then out to the bay windows in the front there and then over to the piano with its own little footstool to sit on and another bay window with the door in the front. Then the garage itself, it is held together with these pins going into the holes there which can be quite a tight fit to try to get it in and out but I guess the idea is not to be trying to take the garage off the house too many times. Uh, you still have the continuous walkway in from one room to the next, which is also quite nice. So if you wanted to, you can have, you know, the characters coming in, driving home of an afternoon. And then if we have somebody like Bart getting out of the car, because he was driving and being, being a bad little boy and coming into the lounge room and falling over.
This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. If you'd like to check out a time-lapse build and some Easter egg stop animation, be sure to check out this video here. Alternatively, here are some other videos you might enjoy. That's all from us here at Family Bricks. Until next time when we talk about all things LEGO.